Hello Rutbags, it's Jade with a Grounded video. Yes, I know the update happened a couple of weeks ago, but I never got a chance to go through the perks, and particularly all the different tiers. I know you probably know how to get the different perks that have been added. There were three new perks added in the September update. One allows you to pretty much not take any full damage anymore. The other two always give you extra damage against creatures when you're using either an axe or using a hammer. But how many creatures do you need to get level two? How many to get level three? And I'm also gonna go over some of the other perk stats as well that you might have not known. Like how many times do you have to run out of stamina before you get the next level perk? So we'll go over that briefly as well, just in case it has bypassed you. So let's go though with the brand new free perk straight away. Don't forget to like, make sure you subscribe for the best in survival content. Let's go. So if you checked out my hedge guide, you'll know that you need to come here now, basically find the passwords to unlock the secret little door here. That's going to be the next part of the story. It gives you a brand new Burgle chip. And that's what you need to get the Daredevil perk. You actually buy it from Burgle once you've given him the chip that you get from this jungle temple or hedge temple. I'm not going to do a detailed guide in this video as I've done it a couple of times now. So go and check out the hedge guide as I've told you guys if you want to see the full length showcasing exactly where all four pieces of the password are. But you should know by now that you get the four pieces of the password that will open the door. Pop the four passwords into the machine and it'll open up this door. Go ahead and pull the switch but it's that burgle chip you need. I will keep saying it, but make sure you've picked up the Jungle Temple quest from Burgle, as it rewards you with 6,000 science points. It costs you 10,000 science points to buy the Daredevil perk from Burgle, so you are going to need a lot, unless you've already got loads just kicking around. Once you've given him the chip, he'll then be able to go ahead and buy that Daredevil perk, as I said, 10,000. You can pretty much survive most heights if you've got full health from now on when you've got this perk equipped. So perfect if you are going to have to redo anything in that jungle temple or you're doing something really high like building a base. It reduces your damage. I think you only take 0.15 damage when you've got this equipped. Now don't forget as well that the B armor, when it comes in properly, that will also give you full damage reduction. So that'll be even better. You will never take any full damage if you've got the B armor set and that perk. You can still die though from heights but like I said, normally if you've got full health, you should be okay. Next up, we've got the chopper perk, which means you have to kill a bunch of creatures with just one handed axe. And this will also, obviously, if you're using it against ants, unlock that too. But normally you've got to kill 40 creatures and you'll get the level one chopper perk. This increases your damage by 0.5%. So overall, you'll do 1.5 damage with an axe in future. For level two, you need to kill 100 creatures with a axe to gain the second level of the perk. So that's just an increase of 0.1% extra damage against creatures. But there you go, that's level two of the chopper. Guaranteed, if you use just a normal, regular level tier one axe, you will get the second tier when you've killed 100 creatures. And then for the third tier, you need to kill 200 creatures with just an axe. And that's going to give you a 1.15 extra damage output so 0.15 increase same thing goes for smasher which is the other brand new perk basically using a hammer and you use a one-handed hammer and i do believe it has got to be a one-handed hammer then you will definitely get more damage increase when you unlock the first tier you've got to kill 40 creatures and exactly the same you're going to get a 0.5 increase for level 2, you need to kill 100. Level 3, you need to kill 200. And exactly the same thing. You'll get a 1.1% overall damage input when you've killed 100. And you'll get 1.15 when you've killed 200 creatures using just a one-handed hammer. I'm pretty sure these stack as well. So you can equip maybe some of these perks with others. And you'll be able to get even more attack damage and take out creatures even quicker and easier. By the time you've killed 200 creatures though, chances are you've got some of the best weapons in the game, so you won't necessarily need it as much, but then again, if you lose maybe your best tier 2 weapons or tier 3 in the future somewhere, you've got to go back and get your bag, it'd be handy to just take some of your emergency weapons that you've got, like an axe or hammer with you, and just do it that way. And this only works with creatures, it doesn't seem to do any sort of increase against things like getting rock or getting grass blades. That is still reserved for the other perks where you can get increased gather rates or increased damage against grass and rocks. So there you go, three brand new perks. Now quickly, briefly, let's go over all the other ones and just give you some stats that you might have known about. Little Fist, basically kill any creatures with just your bare hands. Do that 50 times and you'll get an extra amount of damage up to two. Now that's quite a lot. Bearing in mind that's double the amount of damage that you would normally do 
with just your bare fists, not double the amount of damage overall with weapons. The axe we've already covered. Sharpshooter is the bow. You need 40 kills to get an extra 0.5% damage, 100 kills to get 1.1, 200 kills to get 1.15. There is a pattern here. Now of course meat shield is one of them that you buy using the burgle chips and it's just going to give you 10 extra health. The same goes for max stamina or buff lungs, that's going to give you 10% max stamina. So daredevil pretty much negates full damage, you'll only take 0.15% damage when you drop from a height. Grass master, you're going to need to attack 50 pieces of grass to get 1.25 extra, 200 pieces of grass to get 1.5. And by the time you've taken 500 blades, you'll be doing double the amount of damage. For Rock Smasher, it's 25 rocks for 1.25, 60 rocks for 1.5, and 105 rocks if you want to do double the damage while you're harvesting rocks. For the Ant Annihilator, you only have to kill 15 to get 1.5, 45 to get this next level, which is 1.15. And then actually, when you kill 100 ants, you don't actually get any more attack damage. Instead, what you do is get a damage reduction against ants. In fact, it's 0.9. That's how much it is. Of course, the Coupe de Grasse is the four-leaf clover. That's going to give you a 0.1% extra critical hit chance. And that can be any time, any time random. Find all the juice boxes, and it pretty much gives you the armor clover set bonus. So it reduces your first rate, so it's only 0.9. Natural Explorer, that's for discovering all the points of interest. Well, when you discover five of them, you'll get an extra 0.3% boost. When you discover 20, you get 0.6. And when you discover 50, you'll get 1.1. And depleted stamina, I've told you guys how to cheese this in the past. Basically run out of stamina 100 times and you get 1.5% regeneration. Run out of stamina 250 times and you get 1.1. And run out of stamina 500 times and you're going to get 1.15. Now, Reviver Friend has actually changed slightly since the last updates. The newest update changes it a little bit. It's just a little bit quicker. So you only need to revive someone five times and you'll revive them by 0.85% quicker. Revive them 15 times and you'll do that to 0.75. And then revive them 30 times and it only takes 0.6 seconds to revive them. And then Fresh Defense, the mint one, that has also changed, I think, an update before last. You only get it once by picking up one piece of mint, and it reduces your damage reduction by 0.75. And that's for stink bug gas and the weed killer gas that you come across. So there we go, that's all of the perks right now, and all of their stats. Hope you found this video useful. I'm sure I'm going to have to update it again. Looks like there's going to be at least another couple more perks being added in the next update or two. As always, I'll be here with the guides and tutorials you need. Make sure you're locked on. I'll see you rat bags for more very soon. Bye-bye.